assalamu alaikum students students our today's concept is about relative velocity actually relative velocity is the special case of vector subtraction it is special case of vector subtraction when we are going to discuss two bodies at a time then we discuss about relative velocity if i discuss in simple way if two bodies are moving in same direction then their relative velocity is found by subtraction but in opposite direction relative velocity is always found by addition in simple way i can say if i am moving towards the right with a speed of 40 meter per second and another car crosses me with a speed of 50 meter per second then for me that car is not going to have speed of 40 but that will have speed of 10 because in same direction relative speed is found by subtraction but if is i am moving in this direction with the 40 meter per second and another car crosses me from opposite direction with 50 meter per second then for me car is not going to have the speed of 50 meter per second that but that would become 90 meter per second in opposite direction relative speed is found by addition but in same direction relative speed is always found by subtraction actually when we say the velocity of a body a with respect to b then we are going to write VA minus VB, and it can be written as VA plus minus VB. So you can see that relative velocity is the special case of vector subtraction. Okay, and we can solve many questions with the help of this concept easily. For example, I take an example of an MCQ. Firstly, I will discuss that MCQ with the technical method, with the difficult method. then i would solve that one with a very easy method and we would see that relative velocity is going to help us in a very easy way let's see mcq is this that two bodies are going to be discussed one object is dropped and other is thrown downward with speed of 1 meter per second their separation after 18 second what would be the separation 0 meter or that would be 1 meter that would be 18 meter or that would be 17 meter so this is the question we want to discuss for dropped object we would see that the formula would become vi plus half gt square but vi is going to be definitely its value would be half gt square because it is dropped one okay but other object which is going to be thrown it would have some initial velocity its formula would be vit plus half gt square now i am searching for the separation then definitely i would subtract these two quantities s2 minus s1 when i would subtract definitely i will get this one vit now i can see that vi is the initial velocity is 1 and the separation after 18 second this will come out to be 18 meter it means these bodies would have a separation of 18 meter after 1 second now this question can be solved in nanoseconds in microseconds with the help of relative velocity how you can see that relative velocity can be found and we have to search for the distance so definitely s is equal to vt now relative velocity when two bodies are moving in same direction one is dropped other is thrown one is dropped other is thrown with some initial velocity but they are moving in up same direction 
तो देन रेलेटिव वेलोसिटी विल बी फाउंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ सब्ट्रैक्शन दैट विल बी फाउंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ सब्ट्रैक्शन तो डिफरेंस बिटवीन देयर वेलोसिटीज इज वन बिकॉज दिस विल हैव वेलोसिटी इनिशियल वेलोसिटी वन बट दिस विल हैव इनिशियल वेलोसिटी ऑफ जीरो तो रेलेटिव वेलोसिटी इज वन एंड टाइम इज एटीन तो यू कैन सी सेम आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी फाउंड विद द शॉर्टकट सो रेलेटिव वेलोसिटी इज गोइंग टू हेल्प अस in many ways and we will discuss in next lectures that many other questions about the cars and other vehicles can be solved in microseconds nanoseconds with the help of that shortcut so relative velocity plays an important role in our observations in the motion so this is all about relative velocity student thank you